we have all heard of cat ladies cat lovers feline parents but have you ever thought of worshiping a cat hello everyone welcome to another episode of mythlok with your host nitin nayar in today's episode we are going to be looking at exactly that a cat who was worshiped by hundreds and thousands of people in the region of egypt this was bastet the goddess bastet was an egyptian deity worshiped in the form of both a cat and a lion she was the daughter of ra and her ferocious nature was made tamer after the cat was domesticated around 1500 bce bastet lived in the nile river delta city of wubastis but she also had a strong following in memphis large cemeteries containing mummified cats was established during the ptolemaic and late ptolemaic periods thousands of bronze statues of the goddess were offered as offerings also small figures of the cats were placed on protective amulets these are believed to have been associated with the bastet cult it was believed that she rode with her father ra as he sailed through the sky she would then protect him as his boat pulled the sun at night she would become a cat to defend ra from the serpent a pep as a woman bastet appears to be wearing a cat's head costume she is also carrying various objects such as a drum instrument and a breastplate which is usually connected to a lion's head her left arm is covered in a small bag the romans bought bastet skull to italy archaeological proof of this has been found in various locations such as pompeii and ostia in hieroglyphs she was depicted as a cat-headed woman and she was known to carry a sistrum and a jar both of which were decorated with feline themed motifs although her image initially featured a lion it eventually transitioned to a domestic cat the change in the form of the goddess reflected the changing social conditions in egypt during this time the cats were prized for their rapacious nature and ferocity the eye of ra depicted bastet as ra's consort and daughter with ra she had a son named mahes who was regarded as a lion god some believed that bastet was a mother of anubis while others viewed her as isis's mother the connection between isis and the ancient bastet dates back when the jackal god was still in its early stages of development in egypt before we continue to look at the other names and the powers and abilities of bastet we would like to just thank everyone who's listening to this podcast or watching this video on youtube right now your support has been amazing and every comment that you put in will be responded to by us because because we see each and every one of these interactions with our audience as motivation to keep doing better if you haven't hit that subscribe button do press it as well as the bell notification so that you can get access to our videos as soon as they're out and also let the youtube algorithm know that these videos should be shared with a lot more people who love mythology just as much as us thank you once again and now back to the video in ancient egypt the goddess was known as bast or bastet it is believed that her earlier name was a combination of soul of oset and isis which is an alternative for bastet when priests would call her bastet they would use the letter t to indicate that the word should be pronounced correctly the hieroglyphs for the jar holding the perfumes and ointments that she was carrying also imply that bastet meant she of the ointment jar she was regarded as a goddess of cats the east the sun fire love intoxication sex magic and fertility she was also known for her fierce vengeance She was protective of individuals and households against evil spirits, diseases, and also helped protect pregnant women. She was regarded as a mother of the pharaoh and a divine nurse. Due to the name Bastet and the symbol of the jar holding the perfumes, she also became known as the goddess of perfumes. 
She was also known to help protect the people of Lower Egypt. And according to the Egyptians, cats can help extinguish fires as well. She was also referred to as the Eye of Ra or the Eye of Atum, the sun. She represented Ra's feminine nature and was sent to avenge his enemies. This aspect of her was a distinct being from Ra as she was regarded as his mother, wife and sister. In various works by Neil Gaiman including his American Gods and the Sandman, Bastet has been referenced. In Paul Gallico's 1957 novel Thomasina, Bastet was depicted as the main character was a cat called Bast Ra. She was also featured in the film The Three Lives of Thomasina. In Patrick Rothfuss's The King Killer Chronicles, Bastet appeared as a member of the Fae and featured feline features. She also appeared in The Secret Lies of Nicholas, which was released by Michael Scott. As a playable character in the mobile games Might and Overwatch, she was also featured as a cosmetic skin for Anna. In Age of Mythology, she was a minor deity whose worship boosted the villager collection rate. As you can see, although Bastet might not be among the top echelon of gods whom we know from Egyptian mythology, she has had a very important role to play in the whole structure of things. Not only in ancient times, even in modern times, the feline nature of this goddess has inspired many characters both in movies as well as video games. It is her ferocious nature that has been admired and propagated, but then her nursing nature is something that we should not forget as well. We will be looking at a lot more characters whose dual nature has really had archaeologists, mythologists, as well as ancient theologists completely confused in the days to come. Until then, this is your host, Nitin Nair, signing out by reminding you once again that Mythlok is the home of mythology.